intrauterine insemination also called IUI can be done in natural cycle as well as in stimulated cycles. In natural cycle patient it is usually done in normally ovulating women where uh, the ovulation of the patient can be uh, tracked using um, uh, commercially available LH kits or it can be done using uh, uh, ultrasound monitoring. Once the uh, follicle size or the egg size reaches approximately 18, 18 to 20 mm, the trigger is given and pose the trigger after 36 to 40 hours intrauterine insemination uh, with the male partner is done. So this is uh, basically a, a, a painless procedure. Usually it takes hardly 5 minutes. If the patient experiences any pain or if there is a difficult intrauterine, uh, uh, the catheter insertion is difficult, then such patients may require the use of special catheters which has inbuilt stylet. And such catheters usually facilitate easy transfer of the semen inside the uterine cavity. The success rate of IUI usually depends on the patient factor. A young woman less than 35 years of age uh, with the good semen parameters usually have a very high success but the maximum success rate of an intrauterine cycle is maximum of 15 to 20 percent per cycle. The success usually increases with the further attempts. RCOG usually recommends a maximum of 6 intrauterine insemination cycles but there is no clear cutoff that after which the further intrauterine insemination cycles cannot be done. But usually after 3 to 6 cycles, patient uh, is usually counseled about uh, the chances uh, on uh, the chances of pregnancy with further attempts. It depends on the patient if they want to continue with the process and or they want to shift over to more extreme step like in, uh, in vitro fertilization. On the day of intrauterine uh, uh, procedure, the patient is uh, uh, the husband or the male partner is asked to give the semen to the andrology lab where the semen preparation is done, the semen is washed and is removed of all the debris and dead cells and only the active and healthy motile sperms are usually separated from the semen. So it, the process takes place approximately 45 to uh, 30 minutes and during that process, uh, during that time the female partner is asked to uh, keep her bladder full, uh, is asked, uh, asked to avoid passing urine and uh, and take a lot of water because full bladder uh, helps to facilitate the process of intrauterine insemination. It becomes much easier when the, pati uh, uh, when the patient's bladder is full. So when the semen is ready, the patient is taken on the table and uh, uh, the semen prepared semen is taken in a soft flexible catheter and uh, that catheter is negotiated through the opening in the lower part of the uterus which is cervix and that catheter uh, under ultrasound guidance, guidance is uh, instilled inside, uh, is injected inside the lower part of the uterine cavity and that semen is then slowly and gradually instilled up to the mid cavity of the uterus. Post the procedure the catheter is removed and the patient is asked to lie down for at least 15 minutes uh, in the same uh, uh, in the same couch and uh, post the procedure uh, after 20 minutes patient is asked the patient can pass urine patient can go about his normal work can go home and certain medications are prescribed to help support the pregnancy there is no contraindication to a patient having normal intercourse post IUI or prior to IUI patient is encouraged to have intercourse with the husband unless contraindicated